my name is Michelle, welcome back to another video. I'm a reflexologist and I like to make videos on reflexology and how people can do it on themselves. So today I have a very highly requested topic and that is how to increase your period flow. Now lots of people may be thinking why on earth would I want to increase my period flow? Well some people do have really light scanty periods and this is a sign of a hormonal imbalance. If you are trying to get pregnant or really want to regulate your cycles, make sure your period has got a good flow, make sure that you really feel like you've got a healthy cycle, you will want to make sure your period flow is healthy. So now you may be thinking, do I have a light period? Well, a light period would be classed as bleeding for less than two days. The period of blood will be really light, more like spotting, and you really won't need to use very many tampons or sanitary towels. If you're worried about this, you can go and see your doctor, but there are lots of natural things that you can do first to try and help increase your blood flow. So today I'm going to show you some reflexology points on the feet that may help, and some, also some basic abdominal massage moves that can also help to increase your period flow. At the end of the video, I'm also going to give some more natural advice such as diet, exercise, that can also help increase your period flow, so make sure you stay tuned to listen to that too. But for now, I'm going to show you some reflexology points on the feet. So you can start with your left or your right foot, whichever you prefer. I've just propped my foot up on my leg, but however you can access your foot, please do what feels right. So I've got a tiny bit of cream on my feet just to help, but you don't need anything. We're going to start with the pituitary gland, which is located in the centre of the big toe. Now this controls all your hormones, the pituitary gland, so if they're a little bit sluggish, if they're a little bit slow, this is really going to help to boost them. You can work this with some firm pressure, as you can see I'm just stimulating the point. And you can do this throughout your cycle, and you can do this several times a day for a few minutes at a time. So that is your pituitary gland, and then you have your uterus point. So your uterus point it's really important to work to help build that lining up. So your uterus point is located on your inner ankle. Now everyone's is located slightly differently, so if you just get this whole area, you'll definitely work it. So take your thumb and work with a firm pressure. This is really gonna help give good energy to a uterus point, remove any toxins, get the energy flowing there, and really hopefully help to build that lining up. Now you can do this throughout your cycle. If you are trying for a baby, I would suggest after ovulation, you ease off the pressure here. But if not, you can do a firm pressure throughout your cycle. So that is your uterus point. Now you can work both the pituitary gland and your uterus at the same time. When you work reflexes at the same time, it can help them work more effectively together. So again, you can do this throughout your cycle, work them like so. Then we want to work the ovary point. So you want to work on the other side of your ankle. And again, like the uterus point, the ovary point is, can be located anywhere around here. So if you do a wide area, you know you're definitely going to get it. And you can work this point throughout your cycle. This can help with ovulation. And if you're ovulating, it means that your hormones are more likely to be in balance. So working this point is really important. So those are the three points and you repeat exactly the same on the other foot. So I'm going to show you the abdominal massage. I'm going to show you over my clothes, but feel free to do this under your clothes, however you feel most comfortable. This massage is done quite low down as you want to get your womb and uterus area. Now, a good indication of where this is, is you can feel, go down to feel your pubic bone, which is quite low down, and then you want to be massaging the area just above here. And what you can do is get your hands and do a circular motion like so, just back and forth, just a light pressure, and do this from when your period finishes up to the day of ovulation. Do not do this when you're on your period. 
And you can do this daily for a few minutes at a time. So just here. So those are the reflexology and massage techniques I'm going to show you today. Now I'm going to share with you some other things that may help to increase your period flow. So firstly is diet. Now this is really key and you want to be making sure you're getting a wide range of nutrients. But there are some things that you may want to include more of. So these can be dark leafy greens like spinach, kale, cabbage, beetroot juice is really good, dark chocolate, iron rich foods are really good. So you can look up different types of iron rich foods and also you can take some iron supplements if you wish. And foods high in vitamin C are really great. So a really healthy diet incorporating these is a really good place to start. Doing regular exercise is really good at helping to get the blood flowing around the body, removing toxins from your body, just getting things more nicely balanced. So any exercise that you feel that you enjoy is beneficial, whether it be walking, yoga, running, swimming, just make sure you're trying to do something each day. And lastly is reducing stress. Now stress is it's really important to reduce your stress and you can do this in whatever way you feel best, but I will also link a video to help with some reflexology points that can help with stress. So that is everything for today. If you have any questions at all, please let me know and I will get back to you. But if not, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.